We have some name value here. Cynthia Calvillo versus Nina Nunez. And this is what was interesting to me. So Cynthia Calvillo, right, former strawweight, hasn't really found too much success in the flyweight division, yet she makes another return to the flyweight division. And I think it's interesting because she's number 11, Nina Nunez is number 7, but Cynthia Calvillo gets the A side. So I'm like, huh, how does that work? Generally, if you're higher in the rankings, you get that spot, but I, I don't know. Either way, AJ, there's one thing that I have to point out here, and it's that... Nina Nunez has not been in great form as of late. Her last loss to Mackenzie Dern, she got submitted in the first round, arm bar. I mean, I think everybody except me saw it coming because, I, you know, she's not Nina Ansaroff, man. This is a legend. This is I'm not a legend, but she's she's game. You know what I mean? She's 4-4 four four in the UFC, 10-7 and seven overall. So the record isn't indicative of, like, the level that she can perform at, but she's legit. And she's married to the lioness, Amanda Nunez. You have that in your back pocket always. Now... I always said this, and I said the same thing about Mackenzie Dern, right? You get a uh, one-fight grace period, in my opinion, post-pregnancy. One fight where things probably aren't going to go right because you just did something miraculous. You just gave uh, birth to a child. Okay, now you had the time. She's been coaching the ultimate fighter, all that. Now you have time to get back, get back to the drawing board, get back to feeling like yourself. I'm expecting a a reinvigorated, a legit game as ever Nina Nunez. Now, can we say the same thing about Cynthia Calvillo, who, to no other excuse, just has been in in rough form, man. Three-fight losing streak, uh, got stopped by Andrea Lee. It was a corner stoppage. Got stopped by Jessica Andrade at UFC 266, and then lost a vicious decision against Caitlin Chikagian. Only well, only win in the flyweight division has been against Jessica I, who is now retired, AJ. So you tell me, in terms of form, you have Nina Nunez, who has been in rough form, but Cynthia Calvillo has been in rough form, too. I don't want to say they're fighting for their job, but how do you see this fight playing out? Yeah, I, 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 I'm right there with you, man. I don't think they're fighting for the job. I hope not anyway, but it, that's where the cards are leading. And unfortunately, momentum is a hell of a thing in this industry. And, to, and Calvillo is on a one hell of a downward slide right now. I'm with you. I think Nina Nunes can kind of come back, revitalize, kind of reinvigorate herself and find who she's going to be in the 125-pound division. Train with the lioness. If she's not utilizing that and utilizing all the stuff that's being given to her, it, it's it's it, uh, I don't I don't even know how to describe it. It's a bad thing. Like it's a, the worst thing that you could possibly do to not utilize that. So I'm expecting her to come in sharp, ready, just a whole new fighter, like a whole not a whole new fighter, but like a whole better version of herself is what I'm expecting out of Nina Nunez. I hope we get it, man. And and Calvillo, as much as she is on that downward slide, as much as she is you know, kind of solidified herself as that middle of the pack fighter. Sometimes that's what you need the most to tell yourself to kick, you know, kick your ass in gear and actually start scrapping like you used to scrap because man, she could be fighting for her job right here. And I think it's one of those ones where sure, she may not be a specialist. She's, she's more well-rounded, but she has had those times in her, in her career where now, you know, the, the chips are down, you're back against the wall. You got to let the animal out. You got to fight. You got to be the, you know, the dog in the cage. Unfortunately, man, she's going up against a girl who's also in that same kind of boat where she's like, okay, it's either time to put up or shut up. It's either fight style or mom life. Which one do you want? And I think she's going to come out and be ready to scrap. I, I think we're going to see a very entertaining fight. We'll see who who actually performs better, but I'm expecting Nina Nunez to show up in, in, in great form. So what do you make of it, AJ, that Cynthia Calvillo, who used to fight at strawweight, she's 5'4", 64-inch reach. Nina Nunez, who this is her first flyweight bout in the UFC, actually, man. So this is why I'm feeling a little troubled about this bout, just because Cynthia Calvillo has been struggling, I think, with size and with strength. But Nina Nunez, she's 5'5", 64-inch reach. And she's been a, fl- a straw weight this entire time. So she, now it's like you get finally that smaller opponent, but they're still comparable in size and strength. I mean, do you think that's going to play a pretty major factor? I don't. I, I don't think so as much uh, because the only thing I re- I think about it is is Nina Nunes has been practicing with the lioness, you know, yeah. like actually doing the grappling, probably getting grappling against bigger bigger opponents. So she'll have that that strength and that size. Calvillo, she's felt a lot bigger, so maybe we might see some strength, you know, differentiation right here. I don't really play into it. Do you? 
Uh, it's tough, man, just because if there's one thing that Nina Nunez has put on display throughout her, the course of her career, it's a history of being unable to stuff takedowns and being unable to get back to her feet quickly when she gets taken down. I mean, she got taken down by Tatiana Suarez, who was arguably, like I said, if she was healthy, man, she'd probably be the champion right now, but got taken down by her a million times. Claudia Gadelia took her down a million times. Randa Marcos, you know what I mean? Like her, her, and yeah, she got a win against Gadelia. She got a win against Marcos. She even got a win against Angela Hill. But when Mackenzie Dern wanted to do anything, she basically basically i mean she handled business right there and that was another straw weight bout right there so i just find it a little troubling because cynthia calvillo though she hasn't had success as of late she's you know it's not like they're completely one-way traffic bouts except the jessica andrage fight that one totally was but i just see i can see this happening aj and this is why this worries me i can see cynthia calvillo blast double because that's her whole entire game plan walk forward throw one two so she can grab you put you on your back and just holding Nunez down and just winning an easy decision, kind of the same way Mackenzie Dern would have done if she didn't get that submission attempt, you know what I mean? So that's more or less the way that I can see this fight playing out, but I do think if Nina Nunez can keep the fight standing, we're going to get an Andrea Lee versus Cynthia Calvillo all over again. Because Nunez is a superior uh, kickboxer, right? She's got that traditional Taekwondo background, man, so she, when she chambers up those kicks, she can do damage with them. Cynthia Calvillo, I think, has been a step slow in the flyweight division, and given that Nina Nunez is really a strawweight moving up to flyweight, I think think the speed is going to be another issue for her so this fight could play out a bunch of different ways man but ultimately here i think what we're what we're talking about is momentum more than anything else and i think that sometimes that is the other factor of the fight game that a lot of people they don't really take a look into you can look at numbers you can look at past performances but let's look at momentum and right now both of them are on a bad streak it's more about who wants it you know who wants it more and let me ask you here aj I'm actually going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up so we can take a look at it at the same time and we can make our decision right here. If we're looking at the uh, Cynthia Calvillo, right, and we're looking at her last couple of fights, she had one takedown against Andrea Lee, right? She has no takedowns against Andrade, one against Caitlin Chikagian, four against Jessica I in the fight that she won, three against Marina Rodriguez in a draw. And then when you really look at it, man, like she's she had more of a history of takedowns prior to this flyaway run. So given that she hasn't been able to land the takedown, I think that's why she's been losing her fights. Does she land the takedown in this fight? And if she does, is it solidified or is it a, just a quick takedown and then Nunez gets back up? What do you think? Man, I do think Calvillo gets a takedown because I think she's going to get back to those ways of actually, you know, dude, fighting her fight. Yeah. Um, now, does she get the takedown and how does Nina Nunes pop up from it? That's where I'm a little bit more unsure. I'm hoping for a fast pop up. But, you know, when things get going and, and you know, you're, you're fighting, you really do t- perform to your lowest level of training. And Nina Nunes likes to go on the – like, likes to stay down. It doesn't have that pop up in her. So – as much as I want to say, you know, butt's going to hit the mat. She's going to pop right back up. I don't necessarily see it happening until we're proven otherwise. And that's the kind of the, the scary part about it. Because when you come into this fight and you see Calvillo, three-fight losing streak, pretty rough. I mean, she got stopped in two of those fights and she's a minus 150 favorite. Huh. Yeah, Nina Nunez hasn't had a win since Claudia Gadelia, who is now retired, right? So that doesn't look good. And the win before that, Randa Marcos, no longer in the UFC. That doesn't look good. The win before that is Angela Hill, who has not been in the greatest form recently. That doesn't look great. This is just tough, man, because we could be betting on the old Nina Ansaroff that we remember, or this is just the new Nina Nunez post-pregnancy. This is going to be the choice. Everyone has to make a choice in life. This is the choice. Do you want to be a fighter, or do you just want to be the mom? And I think she's going to make that choice, man. So let's break it down, bread and butter. Um, I like Nina uh, Nina Nunez here. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I think the most likely outcome is a decision. This is the women's flyweights after all. Most likely, that is how these outcomes play out. Yeah, uh, Calvillo has been finished in the last couple of fights, but... Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go the over on this one. The over on uh, this fight, AJ, looks like two and a half rounds. I will take the over for Nina Nunez. How are you playing it? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm taking the over. I'm taking the decision for Nina Nunez. Seems like the right way to go. Maybe you throw it on that money line because yeah. she could get a, you know, a naga. And, and the way Calvillo fights, sometimes, you know, like you said, even in the Andrea Lee, her, her corner finished the fight for her. So it could be a possibility that a finish happens here. Me personally, I'm leading toward that decision. That that was a plus one ninety. Seems a little bit better than the plus one thirty. But either way, I'm 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 think this fight's gonna be a long one. That's what we're in store for, Derek. Absolutely, brother. And with that.